everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel today I have a special guest with me here it's my sister my twin sister and in this video we are going to talk about 10 favorite products of 2017 that are definitely going to be products that, are, that we are going to use this year 2018 if you're interested to see what products we want to show you and want to talk about please keep on watching yeah, we actually did film a video before this one that it's already on our channel. It's our 10 worst product that, oh, t product that didn't work for us. But uh, you can start and talk yeah. about the product, product that you like. Of course, thank you. Uh, thank you for having me on your channel. And we did talk about 10 products that we didn't like or didn't work for us during 2017. But now I'm going to take one of the products from my pile here that actually did work for me. Uh, and is this moisturizing lip balm from Carmex. I have the tiny one. I got this in glossy box for not long time ago, so I haven't used it during the whole 2017, but I really, really love this, this thing. This thing, it's so moisturizing. It smells kind of minty and it's tingling a little bit, but it feels so, so, so moisturizing, so, so good. I also love putting this uh, on my lips while I'm doing my makeup before I put on any liquid lipstick that's matte because that keeps my lips moisturized during the day. So I really, really, really love this one. I will get the full size if there's big full size. I think it is. Uh, I think I don't know. Oh, I love that one. Too. Yeah, I, I talked about this in my other videos. This is the Pop Dr. Pow Pow Origin Organal Balm. This says uh, don't go, don't leave home without it, and I'd never leave my home without it. I don't know why this is so special. I use it for my lips, my skin. It says you can use it for your hair. I never try that for a hair, for my hair. But I really love this product, and I put it on my lips every night. And I have it in my purse. I do like to massage it on my uh, nails when my cuticles are dry. I like that. I love this product. Mm -hmm. and I love I got it too. It. I do like that. Too. I also got it in a glossy box. I think it was um, one, two months ago. So I didn't use it the whole year. But it is the most used product I've ever. So definitely something I'm going to repurchase. Mm -hmm. Uh, while we are talking about lips, I have my three new lipsticks from Gerald Cosmetics. I think you pronounce it like that. Uh, and I have them in shade, let's see, Share, which is kind of a um, mauve purple color. I like that one very, very much. Uh, and I also have this shade uh, Serenity, which is uh, a collab with Man in MUA. And it's, really? Uh, yeah, and it's a, a kind of nude peachy lipstick. It goes with every eye look. It's very, very beautiful. And I also, I have a couple of more at home. I just took three of these, but I do like this matte lipsticks from Gerald Cosmetics. Never and tried the, one, the last one I have with me today, it's Berry Roll, and this is the newest one to my collection. I do love, 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 love this one as well, as you can see. It's more brown nude. So I love them very, very much. They are matte, but they are not drying, especially if you use this under while you're putting on your makeup and then you put this liquid lipstick over it. It does dry matte. It stays on very, very, very long. It doesn't move around. It's amazing. I do love them very, very much. I don't have a lipstick product, but I do have a mascara that I like. Superhero mascara from IT, I think that's the brand that I got from my friend Valerie. Hi Valerie, if you watch this video. I use this every day, I did travel with it, I do like it. It kind of reminds me of L'Oreal Paradise mascara and also the Better Than Sex mascara, but this is much better. I mean, the my lashes look the same, but this doesn't crease or smudge like that better than sex mascara from Too Faced does. So I do like this mascara, I do use it every day. And um, thank you Valerie again. Mm -hmm. uh, I have my Ride or Die eyeshadow primer, which is really, really, really long wear. And this is from Lumine, which I think is a brand from Finland. Uh, I don't know if they sell it in USA, but I do think so, I'm not sure. Please. Please comment down below if they do, 
but this beauty base eyeshadow primer it's very 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 good I don't know if you can see I don't think you can see it very well but I do love this primer now as I know they are selling out this there are new form formula they formulated this eyeshadow primer so there's a Wait. new one I think you have it yes I do I try like many different primers and the, this is the new one yeah so I heard that they are not selling this anymore they are going to sell the new one and I got so scared so uh, so I did order more of these as a backup because I haven't tried the new one so I don't know if it works but I have oily eyelids as no primers work for me except this one you have to set it with a loose powder so I love it I love it so stay on my channel and you watch that video when I review all those hundred of eyeshadow primers that I trying out right now and really writing down everything how long they stay on my eyelids and how do I make them stay for longer so that video is coming up it's just take it just takes so much time because I have to try every eyeshadow primer a couple of days with different powders and um, yeah but I have that one in my collection too okay mm -hmm. I have this pro product that I tr also did a video of this is makeup store ne neutralizer purple this is something that you helps it said the neutralizer helps your cre helps you create perfect match for your skin tone blend the ne uh, neutralite neutralizer with your regular liquid foundation to create the perfect tone of your base or apply the neutralizer prior to your foundation uh, before you put your foundation on and this purple helps to neutralize green tones in your face I use this couple of times to light up my foundation that's a little bit darker than I would like it and I do try to have this on my face like not like a primer but mix it with my primer just to make my face look even I love this this is very nice product I don't own many products from makeup store but this product I really really like and I heard good things about it I will put that video link down below so you can watch it and see how I used it and how actually it worked but I like it and it is one of my favorite products 2017 mm -hmm. so one more product that I haven't had for that long but I am so in love it's uh, this highlighter from uh, Physicians formula if I'm pronouncing that correct. I've I follow one of the youtubers that's called raw beauty Christie Oh, I love her. her. I, I, I love her. I, I think she's amazing. She always makes me laugh. Yeah uh, She recommended this highlighter which is in shade uh, natural nude She's using those lighter colors, which I am doing too and it looks so so beautiful uh, it, ca it gives you more wet look uh, than sparkly look which I love and it doesn't exaggerate my pores of my fine lines or any texture on my skin so I do love 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 this one so thank you Christy if you have any chance watching this video I thank you for the recommendation I do love it I don't have a highlighter that's my favorite I do I don't have it in this video I try to put the product that I didn't talk about that much on my channel but all my favorites you know there are a couple of them that I ra rave about every video but these are not those products this is the Kardashian, Kardashian Beauty Radiant Ombre Blush I really don't know what shade they have different shades I can't see it in here 514 maybe I don't know but this is a beautiful br bl bl blush I love it it's so easy to blend it looks so nice on my skin it, I look fresh I look healthy and I my skin just glows when I have this doesn't exaggerate my pores any texture on my skin I love 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 this blush now moving on to eyebrows I have an eyebrow pomade to recommend I have used from Anastasia deep brow pomades for uh, two years maybe something like that and I tried this Makeup Revolution brow pomade in shade soft brown and I love it I don't see myself I don't see the big difference between the Anastasia's brown brow pomade both of them do dry out 
uh, very fast so you have to mix the, any uh, some liquid in it so you make it more liquidy but I don't see the huge difference between the Anastasias uh, except the price of course but I do do love this it stays on my brows during all day sweating not sweating it's very good I have it on my brows today I do love it I do recommend it and I have a bronzer that I want to talk about. This is Peachy, Br Peachy Bronze from Rebecca Stella Makeup Sun Kissed Bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers. This stays on my face the whole day. It looks a little bit dark, but it is so easy to blend. I don't know if you can see it here, but it is so easy to blend and it looks I look sun-kissed very. Some bronzers make my skin look orange or just like yellow, but this bronzer I really really like and I use it every day. Uh, Rebecca Stella, this is a Swedish brand. I think you can purchase it uh, internationally too. I will put link down below, you can check it out. But I really like this product and it's a very affordable, it's not expensive brand and I love it. Mm -hmm. I have two primers to show you which I love both of them. One is a little bit cheaper than the other and the one, the first one is from NYX Angel Veil. This one I love to use under the, let me help, help me, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Yes. I think it works, I think it works great. It keeps me mad all day. I love, love, love it. And the other one that's a little bit more pricey uh, on the pricier side is this Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. Uh, this one it feels like an, um, a moisturizer when you put it on your face it does moisturize your skin beautifully it is oil control uh, primer I love it and I use this these two very often I have many primers but these two I do prefer I love them well, I don't have a primer here but I do have a concealer de la I would like to try that thought uh, shape tape but so yeah. expensive to get here in Sweden. You yeah. have to pay taxes and uh, and um, shipping costs are very high. So yeah. so we'll see if I ever get that. But the one I think it's the best concealer ever is this Norse concealer. I have in shade vanilla. I love this concealer. It's full coverage. It's so easy to blend. It really stays on under my eyes beautifully. I uh, don't think you can see it right now. It doesn't look my, uh, make my under eye area look cakey, doesn't move around, it stays there, it covers everything because I think this is the full coverage. I love this concealer more than Maybelline that I also have. I love it and it's my favorite. Now I have a uh, setting powder which is from Riven Stay Matte. You can't see it's worn off the uh, powder. It's tr a translucent powder and as you see it's I, it's been loved, used and abused. I do love it. It does help to stay, keep my skin more matte during the day. I do have it in my purse so I can keep my face matte when I need to touch up. So I do recommend this one. It's a very affordable brand and I do recommend it. I love it. Uh, okay, I think I have uh, yeah two foundations. One is no surprise. It's this one, Estee Lauder Double Way Stay in Place Foundation. I love this foundation. And the other one that I use all the time, but I never speak about it uh, on my channel, is also from Rebecca Stella, all about that base foundation. And I have in shade, what shade do I have it in? I have no idea. Yep, I have no idea in what what shade I have it, so that will be a surprise if I need to order another one soon. But I do like it. It reminds me of uh, YSL All Hour Foundation. I think it's it gives me same cover coverage, gives me the same feeling, light feeling. I love this, and this is a foundation that I can trust when I work long hours. Also, my double wear stay in place. Foundation. I think this one is a little bit cheaper than this one but I just discovered Rebecca Stella's makeup and I love most of her products not the lipstick though that don't stay on my lips but this foundation I love and definitely go into repurchase when this is empty I just don't know in <laughs> what, what shade I think it went off I think 
yeah, I have to check uh, check up my emails, my shipping email. I think I think I can find it over there. But I love this condition. Mm -hmm. Now I have a setting spray to recommend, which I love. I've used the Urban Decay All Nighter for a very long time, and then I tried this Scandinavia uh, primer that I love more. I have this one in bridal. This is an empty bottle at home. I have the primer that's called Stay Matte, I think. So I love, 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 love this primer. It's a higher price on this one, but I do do love it because it does help my makeup stay on for a very long time. I use it when uh, when we are having some dinner with family. I use it when on some special occasions because I know that this is the one to trust. So I do recommend this one. I have a. I have oh my god! This is this was so hard this morning when I was preparing for this video. I actually spent 40 minutes looking at my palettes, my favorite palettes, eyeshadow palettes, of course. I couldn't pick one. So I was like, okay, what eyeshadow pa palette makes me feel beautiful, makes me feel like a queen when I put my eyeshadows on? And there are two. The um, Queen of Heart palette I love, but one palette that actually I like a little bit, a little bit more, it's Huda Beauty. Desert Dusk palette. I love the other one too, but this palette is, oh my god, this palette is everything. I really feel like a queen when I use this. I really feel like the most beautiful woman ever. I feel like everyone is watching me. I think I'm the most beautiful woman they ever saw in their lives when I walk around. I don't know why. It just makes me feel good. I love this. And you laugh. Why do you laugh? Because... <laughs> I love it too. Oh my god. Uh, I twins. Do have, twins. Yeah. I also love this palette. Now, I I can say that the eyeshadow, the, those mattes are more at the drier mattes, but they, I don't really care because me, when I see the reviews of this palette, many people love it or they hate it. Those who hate it say that the matte shadows are, are so dry and there's a lot of kickoff when they use the matte uh, shadows. but. To be honest, the more my Anastasia uh, Modern Renaissance palette, they are all more powdery than this one. Those mattes. I like I like the one. eyeshadows. They are kind of matte because I I feel like they are easy to blend. They are easy to blend, and I love them. And for my all elites, I think the more drier mattes work better. I don't know if I just get it wrong, but that's how I feel. And I have very hard time choosing palettes what are the best this year but the one the two palettes that I do choose before others is this one and also from Sophie uh, makeup revolution palette now this one is so 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 good I mean these shades you just need to see them these shades are so beautiful they are so so beautiful and there are a lot of lot of mattes, beautiful mattes, transition shades. There are, like I will swatch a couple of those. I love these purples. Now I have problem with the mirror, as you can see. <laughs> now I love these purples. I will swatch them for you. Look, look at this pigmentation. I mean, really, this pink one, this green one is so, 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 so beautiful. Let's see, this one. And they are true to color on the eyes. Yes, they are. And they stay on whole, whole day. It's, oh, I don't know if there's six pounds or even less. I, I can't remember the price, but it's very affordable. It's very good and I love, love, love it. I do recommend it. You can buy it on tanbeauty.com. Uh, check it out, check it out. Then I have another product that it's not really a makeup product. It's a product that I use every morning and every night and I've used it since I got it. I actually unfortunately didn't have it with me when we were away during the Christmas. So that's a that's something I regret right now because I did break out and I needed this product. It's it's this Foreo acne product. I forgot what it's called, but I love this product. It really makes my acne under my skin that are huge and painful 
less painful day after and like in half of a size and it makes my breakouts disappear faster i love this product i I am really happy that I got it and it's been used it's going to be used every day and it's my true friend now I have on uh, not make a product but you has to be used cleaning makeup how to say it's this blender cleanser from solid uh, this is the second one this is the new one I just opened it for this video I have the other one at home you get this kind of uh, rubber that you wash your beauty blender on using this soap this is so good I had problems to find uh, something that washes my beauty blender my sponges very well and well when I tried this a couple of months ago I fell in love I clean my brushes with it and every morning I clean my beauty blender with this or my sponge I love it I do recommend it uh, I know that there is a black one and it's supposed to be even better than this one but I haven't tried the black one I, I need to try that one serious but this one is very 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 good oh I have to take my product here uh, it's not a makeup product but it's a product that changed my life and I can actually say it changed my life and I did talk about it once on my channel and I told you guys that I'm going to review it after a couple of months and this is me reviewing it for you and it's this brown silk expert IPL hair removal system I think I pronounced that right uh, when I saw this product for the first time I was kind of scared using these kind of products at home but let me take it out it looks like this okay I've used this once a week for 12 weeks and after that I used it once a month I didn't have, have to shave my legs for four to five weeks I do use that one too and I feel exactly the same my hair on my legs didn't grow for four or five weeks it was so my legs were so soft they were so smooth I hate shaving my legs and this made everything so much easier so I tried to stop using it for a couple of weeks or a couple of months to see what will happen after a couple of months my hair start to grow again as fast as it did before I use this product so you use this for 8 to 12 weeks once a week for 8, eight to 12 weeks then you use it only once a month and uh, yeah for to keep it that way to, to keep it not growing out yes fast like it did before yes uh, and being a mother of three young children I don't have time spending too much time on in shower shaving my legs because it's we all girls know it takes so much time and this is a lifesaver this is time saver and even if you have children or not having children shaving legs it's not fun nobody enjoys it, enjoys it as I know it um, but this is really really good I have it too I love it and I did try uh, wax waxing I try I did do use that did use that too but I can say you have to be patient but it, because it takes time you are not going to see results for the first four or five weeks but they will come and it is expensive so I'm kind of I'm not feeling very good or well to talk about a very expensive product but I just want to say if you're thinking of purchasing this and you have money to spend on it you're not going to regret it but you have to be patient you have to wait for the results and keep on using it because you're going to love it this is the best product uh, for 2017 definitely going to continue using it this week because it summer comes and those legs needs to be smooth and nice and I have to say I have very sensitive skin and my legs skin on my legs is very very dry I mean it looks terrible it's very dry and I try to moisturize it and keep it smooth and everything so this product helps so I did try to stop using it just to see what will happen so I can review for you guys and this is me doing that I love it I will use it she has it she loves it yes. she uses it yes and it's our top one product of 2017 more? Yeah. no I think no. that was all no that was everything okay great I feel happy talking about 
good products. Last video it was more very negative yeah. and I did enjoy doing that with you. The, last year we did exactly the same thing. I love to keep my channel very positive and I want to be very honest so I don't have any filter. You see, uh, if you see any spots, any blemishes or anything blemishes, like that, that's we are just real deal. <laughs> real deal, yeah, and that's what you get on this channel. And I love doing these videos with my sister. I'm so happy she's here, really, really happy. And I do Snapchat and I talked about this morning how excited I was to film, how happy I felt to film this video with you because I, I love filming with my sister. I hope I, I hope you will come more often this year than you did last one. <laughs> yeah, I, I was bad coming, but it, it's kind of late in in the evening right now filming this. I think it's 11 o'clock at next time this, um, but I'm really happy for you having me on your channel. I do love your channel, I do watch your videos. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you for supporting her, supporting me and uh, give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to put that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Uh, soon it's coming up a giveaway. It's an amazing giveaway on my channel for February, Valentine's Day. And stay on my channel so you don't miss that. And thank you for being here. Thank, thank you so for much for having me. Thank you so much for watching. And see you soon in my next video. Bye. Bye.